But that ends now. Well, it's been a while since we've done this, huh? But I'm here to tell you, the vlog is coming back. It's crazy to think how long it's been. To me, it honestly didn't feel that long, but to some others, apparently it was because people literally thought I died. I'm obviously here, I'm still alive. I've still been active on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch every once in a while, Snapchat a ton. So I guess those people just miss that stuff. I've actually been going super hard on the Snapchat since I've been gone and I'll probably continue that to a certain degree because well, sometimes it's kind of funny and it's something I don't really have to put any effort into and it feels like a quick and dirty form of vlogging to kind of fill the gap between videos when I don't have time to make them. And that's why I've been away, simply because I just haven't had the time to make videos. I haven't even had the time to ride really. Shit, with the exception of mobbing my KLX 110 around the neighborhood, I haven't touched a bike in a year now. I've just been super busy. 38 has been doing great, it's been growing steadily. It's actually getting to the point now where half the customers don't even know who I am and they're actually just discovering it as a brand on its own, which is super awesome, but I will never forget where it started and that was here with you guys and a ton of you still continue to support it to this day so I cannot say thank you enough for that because you guys are fucking awesome. But I am still a one man operation here from the design stage to actually making some of the stuff myself now to shipping out orders, emails, all the business stuff, it's all on me. So. As you can imagine, it takes up pretty big chunks of my time. I dedicate as much of my time to it as possible because, well, when you start business for the first couple of years, you kind of have to if you want it to go anywhere. And I also want to make sure my customers are taken care of first and foremost. YouTube is free. My product is not. When you pay for something, you expect good quality service in return, and that's top priority with me. So if these people were waiting around days on end to see an order ship out or have their email replied to or whatever, and they saw me dicking around on the internet instead, Pretty sure they wouldn't have too many good things to say about me. Also, huge thank you to the people who have reached out to me while I've been gone and been super understanding about why I've been gone and have been totally encouraging and totally cheering me on about everything I'm doing right now. That means so much to me, you have no idea. And to the people who have reached out with some stupid shit to say, man, getting into business for yourself without totally shitting the bed is not easy, but I feel like I'm in a place now where I've got a lot of things figured out that I didn't have figured out before and things are moving a lot smoother and I can start taking on other things again like making videos. So that's why I've been gone, but let's get caught up on what's new. As I said before, 38 Ride Co. has been growing more every single day and I couldn't be more pumped about it. Since you saw me last, there's been a few new collections. We've got a new rider on board who's an up and comer. Uh, this year is definitely going to be a defining year for it because there's going to be riding gear coming out and a few other cool things I've got up my sleeve that's going to expand this thing out a little more, so... I also started a second company called Rogue Lab. Like I didn't have enough things to do. It's still in the beginning stages, but it's already turning into something awesome. I really wanted to bring more of 38's production in-house just because of the problems I've had in the past, and I wanted to be the one making the stuff and overseeing the quality control, and then all of a sudden it hit me that Maybe I should be doing this for other people too. So now I have this crazy dream of building this all-in-one, all-in-house business, merch, production company thing for other people and small brands like mine so that I can help them have an easier time getting what they need in terms of quality and product and support. So that's something that's gonna be happening more and more over the next year as I bring in the equipment and the people necessary to turn this dream into a reality. But you'll be hearing a lot more about that later. What else is new? I got a cat. This is Wheelie, and he's pretty much the greatest cat ever. <laughs> he's tired. This is your breakout moment as a star, man. You're blowing it. I didn't even really like cats all that much until sometime this summer. This little turd showed up in my house and started following me around. We have a ton of stray cats in this neighborhood, so I really didn't think anything of it, but this little guy waited outside my house every day for me for a few days just so he could follow me around more. And Every time I came out, there he was. And after a few days of this, I finally gave in. And I was just like, ugh. You wanna come in, you want some food? And then I discovered he's kinda hilarious and probably the most well-tempered cat I've ever seen in my entire life, so yeah. This little bastard lives here now. All right, get out of here, go to sleep somewhere. But let's get back to business. What's up with the channel? I've said this once before and I'll say it again so that hopefully it gets through to the people that missed it. This is not a bike channel, this is a Lee channel. And that's the direction we'll be heading from here on out. I was able to somewhat revolve around bikes on here for a certain point in time, but it's simply just not sustainable. First, I live somewhere where I can only ride six months out of the year and then I'm stuck to the garage, so that's a thing. Then the garage videos, which I love making by the way, those 
builds and part installs and all that, those don't happen for free for me like they do for some people. Those are coming out of my pocket. And then just life stuff happens, you know? Now for the very first time in my life, riding isn't the top dog priority in it anymore. Now I've got something else competing with it neck and neck, which is my two businesses and all the new challenges and stuff that lie ahead of me with those. And I love taking that on. So for this channel to go on, it has to incorporate everything I'm doing so that it's not taking away from anything, which actually kind of makes sense. It's still gonna have bikes, so don't click off this video just yet, but it's also gonna show the dedication and the grind of the business side of me of, you know, growing these things bigger and bringing on more people and all that so that I can get to a point of being able to dedicate more time to bikes again. There could be three straight months of just pure bike mayhem. There could be a year of nothing but business stuff. There could be three videos a week for a while. There could be no videos a week for a while. I'm gonna make these things as I see fit with zero pressure on time frames and what's in the content and that makes me so excited to start making these things again. That being said, I do have some bike stuff planned now that it's winter time. I wanna chip away at the 636 a little bit more, maybe finish it, I don't know, no promises there. I do wanna do a mini build on my KLX 110, kinda do a couple upgrades to it and then make it look really cool. And then I do have one more really cool little build planned that eh, remains to be seen or not. I'm not gonna say much more about that just yet. Also, since I know people are gonna ask, the Dyna is out of here in the spring. I'm putting that thing up for sale and I'm getting something else. I've thought about it a lot and I've had my time with that bike and it's time to move on to a new bike. Will it be another Harley? Will it be a Supermoto? Will it be a dirt bike? Will it be a friggin' Chinese scooter with a giant can of nitrous on it? I don't know. We'll figure that out in the spring. I don't even want to think about that right now. So that's where we're at and what's coming. This channel is going to combine all aspects of what I'm doing from business to bikes to whatever. And I think it's going to be pretty cool the way I see it in my head. Obviously some people are going to hate it and that's fine. I don't need you here. Over the last couple of years, I've seen all magnitudes of subscriber complaints, you know, from when I ride different brands of bikes to when I do builds, when I don't do builds, when I do wheelies, when I don't do wheelies, when I cover things about my brand, the most popular, I'm only here for the Dyna bullshit and the list goes on from there. Well, hold on to your asses because there's gonna be plenty more of that coming. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. Well, anyways, thanks for watching this little update. Tune in again next week as we get back to making these things and I can get used to talking to a camera like a weirdo again. See you next Sunday.